Hello, my name is Amy Ecker. Welcome to my channel. Oh my goodness, BoxyCharm has done a limited edition. This is the first time I've seen this and I've had this subscription since June of 2016. So when they said they were going to do a limited addiction box, addiction box, that's what BoxyCharm is. It's an addiction and I have spread my addiction to my friends and family. So and they're loving BoxyCharm too. But anyways, back to this <laughs> special edition of BoxyCharm. So as, as soon as I saw it pop up that it was available, I was all over it. In fact, so was my sister-in-law, Sabrina, the makeup mom. You can pop over to her channel also and check her out. But it was so funny because we couldn't get in and the site kept crashing. And so we literally stayed on the phone for probably two hours trying to get into this subscription like God and everyone in the United States because this limited edition box is off the hook. And so we saw the ad for it, was totally excited. And I will tell you, I'm even more excited getting into this box than when I saw the ad. So for anyone that missed out, I am so sorry because this is amazing. So hint, hint, BoxyCharm, we kind of need a special edition box. I don't know, once a quarter um, because it is so amazing. I mean, it's BoxyCharm as a subscription is my favorite. They're always amazing anyways. And all the subscriptions, I've only been semi-disappointed with maybe one or two boxes and I say that lightly because I liked three or four of the products not all five so come on now that's still an awesome subscription but anyways enough about that this special edition box just tickled me to death and so back to my story Ooh, I went down a rabbit trail so Sabrina and I are on the phone for like two hours. My husband is listening to us go back and forth. Like one of us would get excited. Oh my gosh, I got in and then get booted out. Then the other one would be like, oh my gosh, I think I got in and then get booted out. So finally, it's way past my bedtime at this point. I was like, Sabrina, I've just got to give up. I got an early morning for work tomorrow and I take off my makeup, I head to bed, and then I hear my phone go ding, it's my brother. Okay, this is a family, BoxyCharm is a family affair. So Sabrina is able to get in, but she doesn't want to mess it up on her phone because she's actually moving forward. So my brother, she tells my brother Mitch, Mitch, you gotta call Amy or text her or call her right now to let her know I'm getting in, like we are in. So my brother, as sweet as he is, lets me know it's time to order BoxyCharm. The site is back up. So I go ahead and I get in and was able to get this and was thoroughly excited. I am part of a Facebook group that of lovely ladies and I had posted on there about it. And when they went to get in, some of them didn't get a chance to get this box, which absolutely depressed me because I love these women. They are just absolutely adorable. And so the fact that they weren't able to get one just broke my heart. So BoxyCharm, for those sweet ladies that weren't able to get in, they need us a chance. And for us ladies that are absolutely loyal to your subscription and we keep bringing in other people because we're so loyal to your subscription, we need some more of these, maybe once a quarter. I, I don't know, I don't know. Every other month, that might be pushing it. But let's go every other quarter, shall we? So anyways, you're gonna see me use all of these products very shortly and it's it's just absolutely fabulous. So let, let's dig in a little bit. I, I'm holding this up so that you can drool over this box. But let's dig in a little bit deeper. And I did use all the products today because I had to, and you're gonna see that in a little bit. So let's talk about this card. So we are looking at the limited edition Miracles of the Amazon Eye and Cheek Palette. So when I first opened the box, I called Sabrina to let her know, I got my box. She hadn't received hers yet, so we're hoping it's very soon. And she said, well, I hope I get the pink one. 
And from the outside that I was like, well, it's kind of a bunch of browns and like a salmon color. But when I actually got this, it's totally different. So on my eyes, I used five of the six colors and the cheek color is actually from there. So you'll get to see how I applied this shortly. This retails normally for $38. Then we used the Custom Enhancer Drops. These normally retail for $42. This has, it's, it is a buildable highlight. I did build it up on my cheek. And at first when I put it on, the color is Blossom. It, it picks up kind of very pink, but when you start, you know, kind of diffusing it, it comes up with a very nice, pretty sheen. So I love the way that this BoxyCharm, actually all the products really work together to create a look versus some of the other subscription boxes I've got in the past. It's like they, they get companies that throw in a sample of some kind and it's not cohesive. This special edition box is very cohesive, which you can see because again, I used every product in this box on my face and I'm going to work in about 45 minutes. And you know, it is, an, it is a cohesive box that creates a look that you can leave the house with. So again, BoxyCharm, absolutely spot on, 100%. Love, love, love that. The next piece is the Bare Minerals. This is the Gin Nude Buttercream Lip Gloss. And that actually is this color. This is, I do love the color being a neutral. Oh my gosh, thank goodness. Just had this big discussion on uh, lip colors. My sister-in-law, Sabrina the Makeup Mom, had it in one of her videos, and I did too. When they, we love the fact that they give the lippies, but, you know, reds or those weird purples or I'm trying to think of some of the other colors. Oh my gosh, I got this like dark magenta, almost black one. So for the most part, most consumers that are buying these boxes aren't going to wear those bright, crazy colors. And so that, that's kind of the downer to some of these subscriptions is when they put in something so wild, most consumers aren't going to wear that unless you're a very young, maybe high school person, maybe college, but it's not something you're going to get excited about wearing every day which kind of puts a negative note on that company versus a positive note. So anyways, on this time I got the Bare Minerals. It's a new color, very pretty. It's in Popular. And I'm not a lip gloss person for the most part because I like putting on a lip and then going and not having to worry about did it smear? Did it get on my coffee cup all over the place? And then when I take another drink, it gives me like the clown smile <laughs> and that's happened. But I really like how light and pretty this color is. So if I was into lip glosses, I would like this one. It, this one isn't tacky. It stays very creamy on the lips and it's a nude color. So Again, whoever gets these boxes with a nude color, you can actually use this versus going, oh, I got a weird color. Let's throw that away. So again, BoxyCharm, absolutely great. Bare Minerals, thank you very much. And this is, in your description, an ultra creamy moisturizing color with sheer buildable coverage, balmy, non-sticky shine. Absolutely agree with everything that you said in there. Then um, we had the... First Light Priming Filter. It's a skin awakening primer that instantly erases a sign of a bad face day to leave the complexion fresh, awake, and hydrated. So I've never tried this from Becca. I have tried one of their other backlit primers and absolutely loved it. So today is my first time putting it on. Now it does come out purple in your hand or on your hand. When you put it on, it isn't like you don't see the purple. So at first I was like, ooh, what is purple going to do to my skin? But again, if it makes it look awake and dewy, then I'm all for it. So actually when I put it on, it um, that purple kind of dispersed and it, it actually felt really good. Next is the Big Look Mascara and that is from Pure Cosmetics. 
I had never used a mascara from Pure. In fact, I'm kind of putting my toe into this brand. I just recently purchased a eye palette. Haven't used it yet. I think it's the Atene palette. But anyways, it was kind of fun to try a new mascara from a different brand I've never used before. So this is their big look. It's with Argon Oil. It says, take your lashes to the extreme with Pure Mascara Miracle, fortified with Argon Oil. This game changing formula envelops lashes and nourishing knockout color and endless build and dewy sheen. I've never heard of black mascara being dewy sheen, but okay, that's how they're promoting it. This is normally $21. By the way, the first light priming filter was $18 and the Gen Nude Buttercream Lip Gloss was $18. So anyways, back to this mascara, you're going to see me use it. And when I do it, it's not clumpy. Um, it goes on, I, I want to say this is going to be more of a lengthening. Now, when I put it on my bottom lashes, they made them look like a, a spider legs. I mean, long. In fact, I normally get mascara all over my face at some point during my application, but it's mostly because I've done it. This time, and actually, yeah, you can still see it. The <laughs> mascara lengthened them so I had little dots down here from my lower lashes touching my skin. So it did lengthen. When I put it on the upper lash la lashes, they weren't thick, but what I liked about the brush was it kind of separated your eyelashes and kind of made them pretty the way they stand out. Now, I, I've traditionally used a very thick mascara, so it goes on thick and kind of clumpy, but I kind of like that. So today using this one was very interesting because I didn't have to play with the brush. It just found out the eyelashes really pretty. And I did use three coats. So when it says it's buildable, it is. And I don't have false eyelashes on this morning. This is in fact the mascara doing that look. So big, big props there to that mascara. Next, we have the E45 Small Taper Blending Brush by Sigma Beauty. I, I don't really have Sigma brushes. I'm looking around. I have put my toe into this product using the, the eyeshadows, etc. And I really like them as a company. So to have this Small Tapered Blending Brush really work great. It's super soft and it just you know, kind of swept on the colors and blended the colors really nice. So, you know, I've not spent money on Sigma brushes and I think I really need to venture out more in the Sigma world because I did like how that brush felt. I liked how it performed and who doesn't like brushes that are soft, perform well and don't shed? Come on now, you know you don't like it when they do that. And then we have the Full Spectrum Eyeliner from Makeup Geek. I already did have this because I own about every Makeup Geek product known to mankind. And it's this color in Plumera. I haven't slept in the last two nights. When things are kind of crazy in my life, I don't sleep because I can't shut off my brain. And so when I first started putting on my makeup, you know, I knew I didn't sleep, but the moment I put this color up underneath there, I could see the red in my eyes. I was like, oh, wow, well, you have red in your eyes. You really didn't sleep. But I liked how it blended. I put it on my waterline and kind of where my lash line was. And then I picked up the eyeshadow from the Tarte palette and kind of blended it. I'm sweating. These lights are killing me. So anyways, I, I blended it out and it looks really, really pretty. All right. And that normally retails for $9. If you've not used any Makeup Geek products, you're really missing out. Those are really and truthfully my one of my favorite products. It is my favorite product. I'm also, again, I own about everything she's put out with the exception of maybe three two or three colors because I'm so light. She does colors for every skin tone and I didn't purchase the recent colors for the real dark skinned ladies. So long story short, and if I'm going to go to any special event, those are the products I bring out because they perform so amazing. But anyways, 
Um, I'm also loyal to Tarte. Probably not to the degree of Makeup Geek because Tarte puts out stuff all the time. I would go totally poor. So anyways, and um, I do like the fact that Tarte and Makeup Geek are very consistent. There isn't a time that you don't get consistency from those brands and I think that that is kind of the best kept secret with those two brands in my opinion. So lastly was the Ofra Vitamin C. Ooh, I'm dropping everything. Okay, so we have the Ofra Vi Advanced Vitamin C Cream. My sister-in-law were talking about this again last night because we are makeup, goo not gurus, geeks, players, I don't know. We love this stuff. And it's all her fault, by the way. So the Advanced Vitamin C Cream, I have purchased several Vitamin C Creams. And when I put them on, they burn the living heck out of my face. And... In fact, I have better luck with Retin-A using a very high concentration and it not bothering my face. I put on a vitamin C cream or a vitamin C serum and I am on fire. So I was telling her, I said, ooh, I don't know about this vitamin C cream. And she said, it's supposed to be mixed with other things. So she says, I think this vitamin C cream will actually work for you. So the Advanced Vitamin C Cream helps to even skin tone and promotes healthier and younger skin. God knows I need that. It has, the cream consists of 8% vitamin C, which reduces the pigmentation due to excessive sun exposure. It also has some SPF 20 and a tenth of vegetable growth hormone. That normally goes for $50. Okay, for someone that can't wear a vitamin C cream, I can wear a vitamin C cream. Like, this is the first one. Oh my gosh, and it smells amazing. It's like when you cut open or you peel open an orange and that smell, the orange oils kind of go into the air. Oh, love fruit. So anyways, when you put that on, oh my God, it absolutely smells amazing. The other thing that this cream does that I really like is it absorbs very nice into the skin and fast. So it doesn't sit on top of the skin. So when I was putting on the primer and my foundation, I didn't feel like there was multiple layers because my skin absorbed it immediately. The other thing, I didn't have a reaction to this cream. It is not burning my face. I do not feel burnt. I don't feel crinkly. I don't feel, I don't know. There's a lot of words that I can use as far as what the um, vitamin C from other companies have done on my skin. This one is amazing. So I'm really looking forward to seeing, you know, just kind of how all of these products perform for the rest of the day. Because again, I am overly impressed with everything that came in this box. So BoxyCharm, I'm just going to mention, you know, maybe doing a special edition box once a quarter. I don't know if you've heard that before. Anyways, I really hope BoxyCharm continues to do this because I am in love and I've been a subscriber since June of 2016 and I brought in people. So please listen to me. We need more of these boxes. This was like Christmas on November 29th. I'm just saying thank you for making the end of November going into the holiday season amazing because these products are... These are staples that you, that we can use every day. And the fact that I am loving each one of these, that means I'm going to end up repurchasing each one of these. So anyways, BoxyCharm, once a quarter, please. I know you haven't heard that before. So anyways, if you want to see how I got this makeup look using all of these products, you're in the right place. So stay tuned. And we're going to start with the Ofra Vitamin C Cream. It's to help even skin tone and promote healthier, younger skin. And at my age, I'd like some younger skin. So I'm just kind of dabbing out some. Mmm, it smells good. It smells just like an orange. Hence the vitamin C, right? God, that smells clean. Okay, that's lovely. It's creamy, but it's absorbing into the skin really fast. I like that. We got a, a Bare Minerals called Popular. It's a gloss. 
it looks really light so I'm gonna pair it maybe with the medium-ish sweet tea from Morphe I'm just going to lightly kind of fill in my lips a little. And I've never tried Bare Minerals lip products, so here we go. Got a nice flat applicator. Definitely, definitely a gloss. So we'll see if it gets tacky. It's very creamy right now. I'm just not used to wearing glosses. We'll see how it goes, right? Okay, then we have um, some Cover Effects Custom Enhancer Drops. I just love this box. I really hope BoxyCharm does this like once a quarter. Hint, hint, BoxyCharm, once a quarter. This color is in, I know I saw it somewhere. Blossom. So I'm gonna kind of use this as, I'm gonna take the little dropper. I didn't put it in my foundation. Oh, look, it's pink. I guess that's why it's blossom. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's spread that around. That's pretty as you get it sheared out, though at first the pink, I was like, oh no, it's pink. I'm probably totally using these wrong. Sometimes I'll put those, drop those in my matte foundations to just give it a little bit more of a, a dewy look if I don't want to go real matte. Because some foundations I love, whoa, I got really crazy with that, didn't I? Some matte foundations I really love, but during winter, you know, if my skin isn't up to par, I like to put them in there. Okay, so it didn't pull off my foundation from what I could see, but Man, it added some gloss and shine. Whew. Whew. <laughs> okay, so our next thing is our Tarte. We get to use that, and we got a Sigma brush. I'm telling you, BoxyCharm, hint, hint. Once a quarter, please. I've already brought you additional subscribers. Doesn't that help with getting these great boxes? Okay, so the colors aren't what I initially thought they were from the box. So that is a lot more pinky and plummy compared to the outside of the box. Do you guys see that? I'm trying not to get too much flashback, but I thought they were more browns with like salmon. So the colors on the box, when I was talking to my sister-in-law, I was like, oh, that's salmon, that's not pink. But this is more pinky. So Sabrina, I got the pinky one. Maybe I should have put on the powder before the cover effects. <laughs> We're gonna dry down the cover effects though. It's just a little tacky, but we'll put some Fenty Beauty on top so that it kind of dries it down. I'm afraid if once I go to do my eyes, if I don't have this dried down a bit, then I'm gonna have a hot mess I'm gonna have to contend with. Okay, so we still have that pretty shine, but just, no more tack. Don't try that at home, people. All the colors in here are really light for an eye. I think that's sweet. I just happen to like, like, drama. I'm trying to debate. I haven't done, like, a purpley eye in a while. So let's go ahead and pick up that lavender. That's actually a really pretty color going on. See, that's why you shouldn't judge colors. Because you think you might not like something, and then when you start actually using it and blending it and putting it on, you're like... Why did I judge that color? I should not have judged that book by that color. So it's not just a life lesson about meeting people, it's also about eye color. Don't judge a color in its pan until you start using it. Okay, so now I'm gonna pick up this lilac color here. Kinda darken that up. Sigma brush is really soft, which I like Sigma as a whole. I don't understand why I don't buy more of it. Their products are always nice. 
Okay, we're gonna take the matte color here and go slightly underneath the eyebrow bone, eyebrow, on top of the eyebrow bone. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, we're gonna pick up this shimmer color here. Next, we're gonna pick up the Makeup Geek Plumera. kind of comes out as a burgundy color. I'm going to go ahead and pick up some of this darker brown in the palette. We're going to mix that kind of on that lash line with the Plumera. <clears throat> Which if you haven't slept the night before like me and you've got red eyes, Plumera is not the color to put next to your eyes. I am seeing that right now. I didn't notice how red my eyes were from not sleeping until I put Plumera on and I'm like, ooh, that matches the red of my eyes. I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna pick up some of that brown and deepen that outer C, V, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna pick back up this lilac color. And I'm going to pick up the lilac color again on a, the Sigma brush. Because I have a hard time not having upper eyeliner seam right on me. Picking up my Maybelline Ultra Liner that's waterproof. And lastly, I get to try another new product, which is the Big Look with Argon Oil from Pure Cosmetics. So let's see what this baby looks like. All right, not a lot of long bristles and kind of flat, so hmm, let's see how this does. That made my lower lashes look really long. Oh my Lord, and that was just one coat. It isn't a thickening, I wouldn't say yeah, it's not a thickening or a lengthening, although it worked really good on my lower lashes, but that's only one coat, and one coat looks pretty. It's not clumpy, but it's not thickening. So yeah, if you don't like a mascara that clumps, this would be it. I'm not opposed to a clumpy one, because I'll mess with it, because it makes my eyelashes thicker, and I don't have thick eyelashes, so I think that's why I like you know, the mascaras that create drama. But this one is pretty if you like light. Let's go for a second coat. Okay, a second coat has lengthened them a little bit. We still don't have a clumpy look, but you can tell it, it I take it back, it did lengthen because I've got little black spots now from my long lower lashes. And for once, I didn't do it because normally I get mascara everywhere like the Pope spreading holy water. But not this time. It was the mascara doing it itself for my eyelashes. Okay, so that is coat two. I think, I think I'm gonna have to go with three if I don't wanna put on false lashes. What I think I like about this brush is that, back to the no clumping, um, it keep, kinda keeps your eyelashes separated, which is really nice. Okay, so, that's kind of my final look from the BoxyCharm box. It's kind of light and airy. Very, could even be kind of a wedding type look because it's so light. Not my normal in your face dark eye makeup, which is, um, it's kind of nice to do something different. And because it doesn't have the darker colors in it or the real, real deep colors, it kind of forces you, if you're using one palette, to just do a light eye because I'm instantly drawn to the light, co darker colors thinking, ooh, how am I gonna make my eyes darker? So yeah, this, this actually created a nice light eye. As far as the lip goes, it's still really creamy, not tacky, 
I'm, I'm just not a lip gloss girl because I don't like that I have to, it's all over my coffee mug and then I've got to reapply it all the time. I end up thinking about, oh my gosh, I got to reapply my lips more than thinking about who I'm talking to or what I should be doing. So I'm not a fan of lip glosses overall, but this one hasn't gotten on my teeth. And, and it is really nice and creamy. So, you know, that's a plus. So I'm gonna finish my hair, be right back, and I'll see you soon. Hello, no. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my opening of the BoxyCharm special edition box. And I may have said it maybe once. I don't even know if I've said it yet. But BoxyCharm, can you please do this once a quarter, please? Anyways, I really, really am over the moon in love with the fact that BoxyCharm did a special edition. I'm over the moon. I'm in love. I'm going to be recommending more people to BoxyCharm because I'm in love. So anyways, in case you weren't sure, I'm in love with this special edition box. I do want to hear your comments, questions, suggestions. Please leave those below. I am so excited to be a part of the YouTube channel. I've really enjoyed all the friendships and relationships that I've gained worldwide because of YouTube and BoxyCharm and all their sponsors. Thank you so much for putting this together. I am absolutely, again, over the moon in love with everything. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. There's also a little bell you can click and then you're notified when I put new videos up. I don't know, maybe you should click that button also. But anyways, I hope you have a wonderful day and you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.